Welcome to the hobby world of Dr. Mike. Made this air hockey table with our children a couple years ago. It's a real fun game. So I thought I would share it with you. We'll do this in a three part series. The first part being the game, second part being the construction of the build of the game, and the third part in the electronics. A lot of features with this game. We'll turn it on. The blower hasn't started yet because we haven't started a game yet. We've got this scoreboard that's suspended above the play field. I beam the information that would be the score, the game period, and the time to the scoreboard to an infrared LED. We've got a receiver here. We'll turn the scoreboard on. This air hockey table has eight pre-programmed games. The first is first to seven. You change the games by pushing the red button. The next game is first to eleven. Got a five minute period, a seven minute period, two three minute periods. This happens to be the most popular game. What happens is when you have multiple periods, between periods you have to switch sides. Your score will always be on the left hand side. Your opponent's score will be on the right hand side. When you switch sides, the scores swap sides also. The next is two four minute periods. Then there's two five minute periods. This is a real long game. This will wear you out. And we've got three three-minute periods. My son will come by in a little bit and help me show you how the game is played. When I built the air hockey table, I installed a blower that's probably a little bit too big. Kind of funny. The puck would float above the table too high, and when you hit it, it would fly off the table. So I noticed if you can clamp the airflow down, the puck will float closer to the table, you'll have better control, and it won't fly off the table. You want to get some good industrial grade, or I think they may be referred to as professional grade pucks and paddles. We try lighter paddles and pucks on this table, especially with older kids who really are aggressive hitting the puck, that the pucks just shattered. They didn't last very long at all. So we had to go out and get some industrial grade or professional grade paddles and pucks. It's also fun to get two sets of paddles. We've got a lot of people over. It's really fun to do teams uh, two on two. It just really changes the dynamic of the game. To start the game, push the green button. The blower will come up, the scoreboard will become active, start timing and scoring. When the puck drops to the goal, it scores automatically. The puck drops into a nice holder for easy access. You put the puck on the table and start playing again. We'll start the game again by pushing the green button. This table has no dead spots. The puck flows really well on it. It's got pretty good action.
we have no dead spots. But it bounces pretty well against the back of this. Makes for fast, fun play. Hello, this is my son Nick. Hi. <laughs> He's come to help. <laughs> Time to help uh, show you how the game plays. Yeah. So, all we'll right. Put Nick on the control side, and I'll start on the back side here. Sounds like a plan. Uh, what sort of game do you want to play? Let's play uh, the standard two, three minute periods. Fantastic. There we are. All right. So, let's go ahead and play. Yeah. Okay. Rough start for me. I'm down by three. The original three I lost at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> you beat me again. Yeah. As it should be. 